Good morning, happy first day of September and first day of spring. I'm Paulina Peters, a market analyst with Bell Direct. Well, earnings season has now wrapped up and Aussie shares are expected to start the month of September lower, amid a further sell-off in the US, as investors prepare for even higher interest rates. All three US benchmarks closed lower for the fourth straight session, and for the month of August, the Dow Jones, S&P 500 and Nasdaq all finished about 4% lower. Across the sea in Europe, markets also closed lower as investors continue to fear higher interest rates and a looming economic downturn. Moving to our market today, here's what you need to keep an eye on. The ASX 200 is expected to open 1% lower if you go by the SPY futures. Commodities wise, oil prices continue to slide, so energy shares like Woodside Energy, WDS, and Santos, STO, could have another tough day ahead. Recession fears continue to weigh on sentiment. The gold price traded lower, meaning gold has recorded its fifth monthly decline in a row. Keep an eye on stocks like Gold Road Resources, GOR, Newcrest Mining, NCM, and Northern Star Resources, NST. And the spot iron ore price trades nearly 4% lower, so keep watch of ASX iron ore players like Fortescue Metals, BHP and Rio Tinto. There are also a number of stocks going ex-dividend today. These include AGL Energy, BHP, Credit Corp Group, Jumbo Interactive, Platinum Asset Management and Whitehaven Coal, WHC. And as a reminder, when a stock goes ex-dividend, this often sees its share price fall as investors take their profits. If you hold Dicker Data, DDR, you will receive your dividend payment today. And lastly, a new company debuting on the ASX today is Aramentum Resources, an Australian mineral exploration company. It will be trading under the ticker code AEN. Now let's end with some trading ideas for your consideration. Bell Potter have maintained its buy rating on Nickel Industries, NIC, with a price target of $1.83. Bell Potter believe NIC has a strong growth outlook and undemanding valuation multiples. In its results out yesterday, NIC reported a record financial and production result, delivering strong growth across all key metrics. Revenue was up 78%, EBITDA up 76%, attributable NPAT lifted 42%, and EPS was up 45%. Now at its current share price of 99 cents, Bell Potter's price target of $1.83 implies about 85% share price growth in a year. And Trading Central has a bullish signal on computer share, CPU, indicating that the stock price may rise from its close of $24.70 to the range of $26.50 to $26.90 in, in the next six days according to standard principles of technical analysis. And that's all for today. I'm Paulina Peters with Bell Direct. Have a great day and happy trading.